Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here we have Unit 7, uh, Torque and Rotations. The section is 7. Point, uh, D, Force versus Torque. Here's the scenario. A box of mass M is tied to a rope that is un that is wrapped around a pulley. The pulley is initially rotating clockwise and is, pu and is pulling the box up. The box slows down, stops instantaneously, then moves back downwards. Okay, so here you can use this representation and draw a free body diagram showing and labeling the forces, not the components, exerting on the box initially and draw the relative motions, okay? So on the box currently, if you just treat it as a point particle, all right? just a point particle here right we know that there are going to be forces that are pulling it down okay and we have force the force that's pulling it down is going to be the force of gravity and the opposite force of that is this a rope it should be force tension but in this case we're just going to treat it as force normal right uh, but here's the question. Do I draw the forces the same? Here it went one, two, three, four, five. You, this, uh, so this is five. Let's say the length here is five, right? Five newtons. Do I also draw this as five newtons? No. Okay, the force normal here has to be slightly smaller. So one, two, three. Three newtons, okay? Again, you do not have to write the newtons. This is good enough. I just wanted to show you which why this length has to be longer because again, if you read the scenario, it moves back, it goes up, right? Stops, then it moves back downwards, okay? For it to have a net force down, that is the only way that you're gonna have it moving down, okay? So that is the reason why f the force of gravity goes down, all right? Now, so on the pulley now, it's in a circle, right? You're gonna indicate and draw the forces on this pulley, okay? So this is the axis of rotation. What they mean by axis of rotation is because if we draw this to here, right? There is a value of, let's say R here, okay? This is when X, when R is equal to basically zero, okay? So what are the forces here, right? Okay, so the forces that are in this problem, first of all, there's something going down, okay? And this is gonna be the force of gravity. Then, then there's also something going down and it is this rope force. So this is the rope force going down. So call that force tension. These two, right? The force that is interacting and opposite of it would be, is this force normal? or should this be force normal okay there's nothing going up against the rotational torque here okay the force normal should be right here it should be opposite of force gravity okay the force here that's causing it to turn is the tension force okay so make sure you understand from the pulley there are these three forces from the box there's only this okay what force is responsible for the net torque on the pulley? Okay, think about the torque. Here, this is when R is equal to zero. This is R equals to zero. This is like R equals to something, right? Okay. So it's probably gonna be FT, right? All right, so here, this is why I wrote out. Okay, so there are three forces on this pulley. At the center of the pulley is the axis of rotation. There's a force of gravity downwards and a force normal upwards, exactly like here. On the circumference of the pulley, right, which is right there. And there's also a force of uh, gravity pull, um, pulling it down, but it's going to be the force tension, okay? So it's not the force of gravity. It is the force tension. So this should be wrong. It's the force of tension, all right? That is what's pulling it down. And this is because this is doing on the rope. The force of tension, okay, on the circumference is what is causing the torque. Again, there's only a torque because there is a what? R value here. Torque 
again it is r times f and in this case it is the force of tension okay that's why there's a torque a torque exists because the force of gravity you know the force of tension okay is being applied on a distance right here this is the distance okay or you could also call that the r value the radius away from the center of the pulley which is the axis of rotation okay this is x equals to zero at the axis of rotation okay so the net torque is actually just caused by the force of tension okay so the net torque is only caused by this force of tension all right so what is causing the pulley to rotate the force of tension all right so now you want to sketch and graph the angular velocity as a function of time from the initial instance until the weight comes back down to the same height so let's recap this scenario okay so we want to treat counterclockwise so let's just bring this down with us okay so we want to treat counterclockwise as positive so let me just label that for us so counterclockwise as um, positive so 12 9 3 6 okay so this is counter counterclockwise and this is going to be positive and likewise purple if it goes clockwise so 12 3 6 is going to be negative okay all right so first of all it is wrapped around a pulley and it, it rotates counterclockwise so it should it says right here initially rotates counterclockwise so that means it has to be right it's going counterclockwise first so it has to be somewhat positive okay and then it stops so this is the counterclockwise right which is positive then it stops instantaneously so it's going to stop then it's going to move back downwards when it moves back downwards it's going clockwise motion so it should be right here so this is going to go clockwise which was negative okay if you draw a line it should look something like this okay i try to do it my best all right so this is when the this is when it was rotating counterclockwise so it was spinning this way here this is when it stops then now it's going to rotate back the other way okay this is the reason why it causes to fall okay now from here we can sketch the uh, um the angular acceleration okay we should know how to go from um, velocity, angular velocity into angular acceleration. To do that, okay, we take uh, the derivative, or you could take the slope, okay? Right? Or you could do the slope d of dt. All right? So what is the slope here, okay? So it looks like the slope here, we can just count one, two, three four five uh, six roundly right negative three and this is three okay so the slope here m is equal to let's say negative three over uh three okay so the slope is like negative one so if you want to treat this right here as like negative one okay it should be flat though all right Okay, this should make sense because this has a negative slope. This has a negative slope. All right, so that's why it is flat here at negative. All right, so there you go. This is the relationship between angular, uh, angular velocity and angular acceleration. To pronounce this, they call this um, omega and they call the a or the fish alpha all right but there you go those are all your solutions okay there's really not not a lot of notes uh this just comes from uh, your force diagram and here it just comes from your torque so watch i think seven point b if you would like an explanation on how torque works
But there you go.